This is a patient in her 50s who has long-term TPN and she'd originally had this via a right jugular line which had to be removed a few weeks ago and you can see that the SVC is now completely occluded as is the innominate vein on the left hand side. So what I thought we might be able to do is recanalize the SVC because I didn't want to leave her with femoral venous access. You can see there's an anterior collateral here, which on the sagittal CT is just running down behind the sternum. So that really wasn't going to, be, wasn't going to help us for venous access. So what I wanted to do was come up from below and try and meet in the middle, hopefully get through from below. From above, you can see the collateral. The cat has gone up from below and I'm trying to place the catheter into where I think the stub of the SVC will be. And I've got a Taruma wire through a multipurpose catheter here and I'm just manipulating it around, aiming for my catheter which is coming down from that uh, very low jugular puncture. And you can see we've got a little bit of contrast gone into the tissue there, but we're really not through. So we're going to apply a little bit more force and try with a guide wire to manipulate it a bit further. And we've managed to get up a little bit into this SVC occlusion at this point. I'm now rotating the multipurpose catheter and pushing with the hydrophilic guide wire to try and get it to go further. And it's slowly working its way through this occlusion and it's going to go up and hopefully meet the catheter coming down from above. So we're slowly making some progress. We've got up just beyond the catheter but you can see, unfortunately, these probably aren't quite lined up. So if we go back around in a moment into an AP view, um, we'll be able to see exactly where we are with this and see if we can get the two to align to give us through and through access. So we're now on the lateral view and we still haven't managed to meet up. So we've gone to AP and I've decided to use an outback device and after a couple of uh, punctures with the needle I've managed to get the wire to go into that external jugular vein. So I'm going to pull the wire back and try and snare it from above to give through and through access. So the wire is coming back and it just about located itself into the gooseneck snare. I'm then going to tighten the snare, pull it through and now we've got our through and through access. So we can either go up with the wire or go down pulling the snare with it so what we decided to do was try and advance the catheter over this wire through the outback device which i'm keeping taut from the femoral puncture i'm rotating the multipurpose catheter here and as we withdraw the outback device with the wire we managed to pull our catheter down with it we've gone through the svc occlusion successfully we're going to go down into the IVC. We do need to inject some contrast to just confirm we're in the right position. We are genuinely in the IVC and we're luminal. And then we can get a stiff wire in. We can plasty the SVC occlusion and then put in our peel away sheath and hopefully successfully place our Hickman line for TPN.